Let's say in the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise this morning. We glorify your holy name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, mighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. Oh, Master Nai, we blessed be your holy name, Jesus. We blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Rana na mazala ni boshi doro bozo ni mazala ni makapai ni boto ni ya. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for this new month. We thank you for the month of March. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, how great are you, Lord? How great are you, Lord? Nana ni ni ma great to be praised, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Makapai ni ba ho ni bo yoro bozo ni ya. Imagine to this very moment, oh Lord Jesus. The Master will give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Oh Lord, we bless your name. Glory to your holy name. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We magnify your name. Glory to your holy name.
for the grace to see, O oh Lord Jesus, the end of last month, O oh Lord. We see the end of this very month. We see the end of this very year. By this time, my son, next year, my rock, I remember. We see be among those, my son, in the carry your presence, O oh Lord. My son, in the giving you thanks, giving you glory, serving you from deep in our heart. In the name of Jesus. My God, my blessing. Ah, 
Yesu all our families Yesu all your church Lord Yesu all our community Yesu Lord all our spiritual leaders Yesu Lord all our political leaders Yesu Lord in the name of our life Lord Yesu we pray Lord Jesus Yesu we pray Lord Jesus Yesu we pray Lord Jesus Yesu Lord we pray Yesu we pray
son in the boy, the worker here, the man in the Because the enemy will always come with the wrong spirit in order to steal, to kill, to destroy, to steal, to kill, to destroy. And we say no in the name of Jesus. We say no in the name of Jesus. We lay down, we lay down, we lay down, we lay down, we lay down. All our worries, all our anxiety. We are in anxiety. We lay them down. We lay them down. We lay them down. Oh, restore all to us. Now, joy, which is our strength. We need joy. We need our strength back. We need our strength back. We need our strength back. Every power holding. The blood of Jesus against you. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves, it is a pride that is always on the way. So we come with all our hearts and ask for mercy. Don't like the prayer that Jesus Christ prayed. He said, Forgive those who sin against us. I say, Forgive those who are there. We should forgive as we are asking for forgiveness. As we are asking for God's mercy. As we are asking for God to look on us with the eyes of mercy. Long of to the same time remember those that have hurt us, those that have caused us pain, those that have caused us worries, those that have caused all the situation that they are going through. The Lord wants you to forgive them as you are asking him to forgive you too. Father, Lord, you will forgive them. Let them go, Lord Jesus. They cause us so many pains, they cause us so many evil. Because us wickedly, because us, Father, we we'll let them go, Lord Jesus. We we'll let them go for it deep down our hearts, oh Lord Jesus. We we'll forgive those, oh Lord Jesus, who have brought us, oh Lord Jesus. We we'll forgive them, we we'll forgive them in the name of Jesus. We receive their heart, we receive their place, oh Lord Jesus. We we'll forgive them this morning in our heart, in the name of Jesus. We say, Lord Jesus, we forgive. We forgive, we forgive our enemies. We forgive the Lord, we will let them go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At the same time, Lord Jesus, we are here not praying, you know. We are running here. For you to have mercy on our own situations, you know. We are let your mercy prevail over every judgment, you know. We are running every protection, every good thing that you have removed, every body that you have removed, you know, from our life because of our sins, you know. I will ask the Lord Jesus, let every restoration this morning in this season. Let every restoration of those unctions. Let every restoration of the glory. Let every restoration of Lord Jesus. My son in the more local area. Nini Maka by the more local area. Nini Masa in the more local area. Let every restoration of Lord. Let your mercy will just open up on Lord Jesus. My brother, turn in our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears to understand, to see. The root of some things that went on in our lives that we don't know because we refuse to forgive our fellow beings. As we are let go of this world, Lord Jesus, need your mercy. 
open those doors. Open those spiritual eyes. Open those spiritual understanding. Father, Lord Jesus, my will be here. You will be able to swim in your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Lord, who will be here. again earlier to go to that uh, book of book of psalm psalm 91 very, very important earlier if the spirit and the grace in it we are we want to you know seriously dig into earlier it doesn't matter how many times you read it earlier every time the word of god is, is ever ever new ever ever new ever ever new Earlier, as we go through this precious word of God this morning, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, open our eyes, open our hearts in the name of Jesus. May our eyes begin to see with the things that we have not seen in this very scripture before. May our mind begin to understand in the name of your deep things in this very scripture. In the name of your, let there be great, let it cause. Earlier, revival. Let it cost. Let Mara. Let every rema that will break shackles, that will break in the name of Jesus. My son in the Let this word open our spiritual eyes, spiritual understanding in the name of this morning. Spirit of God, let that be a breath of life. Let it be a breath of life in Marana to our spiritual senses in the name of Jesus. Understanding, we pray, Lord. Understanding, we pray, Lord, this morning. Understanding, we pray, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Psalm chapter 51 from us, one to end. Say, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. The Lord have, you know, abundant of love. You know, he, 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 and the Lord is, you know, he said, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And when we come to the Lord with, 
No matter the anger, no matter whatever that you have caused the Lord, no matter the evil that you have done, the door will come with a broken heart. Have the will come with a broken heart. And the right spirit, the Lord will definitely always listen to us. He will always listen to us. Like we know, you know, the 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 the, the the deeper meaning or deeper understanding of this very scripture at the, at the Psalm 91. In the prayer David prayed, you know, when David went to Uriah's wife and, and the Lord was so angry, was so bitter, the Lord determined to end David. The Lord determined to destroy David, to wipe him away because of the wickedness that, 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 that is bitter from him. The Lord was so angry. The Lord wanted to you know, destroy everything about David and, and, and raise up another, 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 another servant of his. And yeah. then when he was confronted of his sin, what did he do? He came to the Lord with a broken heart, with a contrite spirit. He came with the Lord with a broken heart. He has. They're truly crying, seeking, knowing that I have no power of my own. That he, God, is angry this way, that my own is finished. He held the foot of the Lord. They said, God, please have mercy. From deep down in his heart. But the reason why sometimes when we pray to God, we don't get results. You may pray, pray, have fast and pray, have fast and pray. Mm. And, and and the the more we are fasting, the more we are, you know, the more things are going by. So I wonder what is actually the problem? What is the actual problem? Am I not fasting? Am I not praying? Am I not doing this? Am I not doing that? Because we are doing those, you know, fasting and prayer without our, our heart is not there. The Lord say you guys are fast and pray. That you fast and pray with a feast. To keep on doing evil, to keep on repaying the feast of revenge. Those who have all your money, you don't want to you know, let them go. Those who have you no know, hurt you, you are, you are still in your prayer, in your praying and fasting you know, with unforgiveness in your heart. You refuse to forgive your fellow, you are asking God to forgive you. And sometimes we we we, we almost have you know, some people that have definitely, you know, love for me than your heart. You have really done so much, you have sacrificed. Sometimes, even the things you cannot do for yourself, you you do you, you will do it for the, you know, your brother, your sisters, or your, your friends. After sacrificing so much, then what you get back is insult. What you get back is just, you know, you know, the thing that you, you less expect from, even if they're your enemy, you start wondering why, you know, after all this I have done, they want the people who don't even know me or those who have not even done, you know, lit, you know, much as this. They respect me, they do this, they show love, giving me gift, they don't this, they don't that, they don't that, they don't that. But this one that I'm giving everything, it just, in the process, it build a kind of resentment in us. It build a kind of un un unforgiveness in us. And sometimes, it doesn't matter the level that you are in ministry. It doesn't matter the, how close you are to God or how the, how God can reveal things to you or how you know, you know, you know how you are spiritually sound. Sometimes this didn't happen. That resentment is there. This area of your life, no, no, no go area. No matter whatever happened, you will never forgive. You will never forgive. These are the, some of the things that I have encountered, that I have seen in ministry. A lot of people that want, we have cancer, they, they, they come out with this kind of, see what I've done, see what I've done, see what I've done. Even though I love God, I prophesy and all those, but this one, no, no go area. Is it worse than, than what David went through in the hand of Saul? Physically, he showed aggression to destroy David. He carried a spear and sent to, 
to pin him to the wall. Right? David was you know, crying to heaven through his songs that God should restore back his king. Right? The king was determined to destroy the person who was who was like in the middle between between him and God. Telling asking God to come for for you know, you know just have mercy on, on his on his king. With that, the David, you know. Is he angry the way you have been angry regarding to these issues? That they can never compare to the kind of thing that David went through. Let's ask the Lord, please Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. We know that you have deeply been hurt. Our souls have been hurt. Our, we have been totally, we have been hurt. We have been hurt. Hallelujah. That the Lord wants you to forgive. And some, some of us, you know, some people may owe you some money, you know, for you, they, they really needed your help. And you went ahead and gave them that, that help. Borrow them the money and all those stuff. But in the process of, you know, going to get back your money, they forgot how you deliver them from being homeless. How you deliver them from, you know, from that sickness, from that disease. How you deliver them from that massive trouble. How you deliver them from, you know, from, you know, from being jobless? You have contributed so much. Unfortunately, they cannot see it anymore. Even though they have the money, they have everything now to pay back. They refuse to pay back. They refuse to, you know, to show love. The Lord wants you to forgive them. Even though your help has caused you the big trouble. You have somebody and that help has caused you big trouble. Make you to lose important things, even cost you your marriage, even cost you your health. The Lord still wants you to forgive. The Lord wants us to forgive. Ma san The Lord wants us to forgive. The Lord wants us to forgive. Hallelujah. That is only when your prayer can be answered. That is only when. That situation can turn around. That's only when that, that basic breakthrough that you're looking in your life can happen. Without it, unfortunately, you will just keep praying and fasting and praying. You'll be seeing revelation. You'll be that unfortunately that basic problem in your life can never be lifted. Because the enemy, they are fighting, they say forever that they will never. But you have to go ahead and let go in the name of Jesus. Because when you let go, hallelujah. They don't have any strength or any foundation anymore to hold you. They are holding you or doing whatever against you. It's just totally empty. Because they don't have, you know, the source again, they, you know, whatever. Because the reason why they're able to hold you down, the reason why they're able to do those evil against you, hmm. they eat because you have not forgiven them. They begin to once again ask the Lord, please Lord by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. We we'll let go. We we'll let go. We we'll let go. In the name of Jesus, we we'll let go this morning. We we'll let go. In the name of we we'll forgive those who have sinned against us. In the name of Jesus, Maratai ke paireya, nono ko poireba zadere bo shikia, reke post kiriya. In the name of Jesus, you say, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Ma saninaya. And cleanse me from my sins. In the name of Jesus. Ma zange. Wash me, O Lord. Wash our spirit. Wash our soul. Wash our body. Wash us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. For I know my transgressions and my sins is ever before me. Against you only, you only that I have sinned. And I don't want is evil in your sight. Father, Lord Jesus, you have come, O oh Lord Jesus. You have done so many things, but the one that you have forgotten, but the ways that we have released. We have showed anger. We have a uh, here. We ask, O oh Lord, have mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Against you only we have sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that we may be justified in your work, so that you may be justified in your work. I'm blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Ma go borrow there. Behold, you delight in truth 
in the inward beam, and you teach me wisdom in secret heart. Put me with her soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be watered than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sin, O Lord, and blot out all my iniquities in the name of Jesus. Hide your face, O Lord, from my sin. <laughs> Mm, my man, blow my iniquities, O Lord. Blow my iniquities, blow my iniquities, O Lord. Raka pa irmo re re bo shdiya. Nini mara gabasa ke riba. Nuno mo ruya. Pour me with your hands up and wash me. Wash me, O Lord Jesus. My son in here. Pour, pour, pour me. Pour me with your hands up and I shall be clean. Wash me, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and we shall, and I shall be watered as snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let us hear joy and gladness again. Let us hear joy and gladness in the name of you. Because when we refuse to forgive one another, unfortunately, earlier, the enemy have the right to make sure you block the joy, you block the gladness. You know, those are where those, the strength of every believer lies. And there's no way God, you know, can align. There's no way you can, you know, you know prosper spiritually carrying unforgiveness in your heart. Refuse to let go. These are the things that this man of God suffered. The joy was taken by the enemy. The gladness was taken by enemy. And therefore, we cannot really see far anymore. May God help us in the name of Jesus. This is a state that some people are in life. You know, especially the ministers of God. When they are in this situation, when the Lord cannot hear them, or if they cannot hear, they pray, pray, no, no vision and all that. You know, like what happened to Saul? Then he, start, he consulted the witch at Edo. The witch at Edo. Because it's, it's very, very important as, as we live in this world to be able to see spiritually, to be able to understand spiritual things. Very, 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 very important. Then if that, that is blocked, therefore, the next thing you can do is to visit the wish at Edom for divination, to be able to see to your distance and so you'll be able to know what, you are, what is happening and what is going on. And unfortunately, that will not give you the divine justice, the divine, the divine, <laughs> the divine solution to that problem. Because now you have dipping your hand into evil. Now you are blocking for that, that joy. You are blocking for that, that gladness. You are indirectly, you know, you know, blinding the more your spiritual eyes. Giving room to the enemy into your life. And anyway, we have gone to that, to that far. We ask that in have mercy on children. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, let the bones you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sin and blot out all my iniquities. Blot out all my iniquities. For I blot all our iniquities, Lord, this morning. Blot out all our iniquities. Everyone we have sinned against you, Lord. In this very fast and prayer, in the name of you, whatever the enemy may be holding, to make sure that the benefit, that the blessings that are attached to this very fast and prayer, in the name of you, for this month, in the name of Jesus. Marakaya. For I know we ask, Lord Jesus, how merciful, Lord, how merciful, Lord, how merciful, Lord. Lord. Let the benefit, let the blessings, let the open doors, let the good thing that you have for all this month, in the name of Jesus. All forgiveness will not deprive us from them. In the name of Jesus. Maza, secrecy will not deprive us, deprive us from them. In the name of Jesus. For our Lord, blot our iniquities, O Lord. Let our iniquities, our sins be blotted out. In the name of Jesus. Create in us, O Lord, Maza, a clean heart. A clean heart, Lord Jesus. Create in me a clean heart. Create in us a clean heart, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord. Talk up in the in the name of Jesus, a clean heart to pray this morning. A clean heart to pray this morning. A clean heart to pray this morning. In the name of Jesus. Nanama Sandere Borea. Oh God, creating us a clean heart. 
and renew the right spirit within me. Every polluted spirit, anyhow, the enemy are coming to my life. Marataria with the wrong spirits, with the things that look like God and it's not like it's not God. With all manner of compromises, Father, we come, O Lord Jesus, this morning. You say, Create in me the right spirit, create in me within me the right spirit, and cast me not away from your presence in the name of Jesus. Man, I create also, Lord, you from every fruit, from every dirtiness, from every sin in the name of Jesus. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord, from all forgiveness. Cleanse me, O Lord Jesus, from all manners of iniquities, O Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. Wash us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mazaninia. You wash, O Lord. And cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. And then, then there will be restoration of your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. In our lives, O Lord. Restore, 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 restore. In the name of Jesus, Master, take not your Holy Spirit from me. I restore to us, Lord, the joy of our salvation. In the name of Jesus, and uphold me with the willing spirit. In the name of Jesus, none in the perfect will of God. The willing spirit to walk in the way of God, the divine will of God in our lives. In the name of Jesus, not on a permissive will. Oh no, oh, Father Lord Jesus, please, Lord, help me not to walk in obedience in the name of Jesus. My son anymore, Rocco area, did they give back in the name of Jesus? The word of God said, In the name of Jesus, my son area, Boko, your bars, and the boy, Rocco area, then my son area. Then I will take the transgressors your way, and sinners will return to you and deliver me from blood guiltiness. Massa, because the blood hiddenness is there here. You know, David shed a lot of blood. You know, some more innocent blood that he shed. And in the process, those blood are crying for joy. Say, God, deliver me from every guilty, every guilt, every guilt. You know, it takes a one who truly wants change, who truly wants, you know, the, 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 the true spirit of God to begin to dwell in him. You know, to cry this kind of cry, to pray this kind of prayer. To not feel like holy than thou. Not feel like oh, I am, I am, I am, I am. Mm, I'm, mm, no, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, sweeping things under the carpet. Yeah, he visited some. He said, "Did it find me from?" Because he knows within his heart about the some blood that he have shed. The dark guilt in him. The dark guilt. The dark guilt. The dark guilt. Sometimes, you know, we have done some negative things. You know, sometimes you remember, a flashback to your mind, those abortions that you committed. Sometimes, you know, some of those lies that you told your husband before you got married and how you deceived him and how you slept with your former boyfriend that very night before not to compensate him or her. Those things come. And those abortions you remove because, oh, you don't want to marry that boy. And because of this one, they knew this person wants to, you told him like, oh, he did not have that pregnancy again. You definitely want to remove. And that, sometimes the guilt of those things that you have done comes. To the extent sometimes, those children that you aborted visit you sometimes in your dream. The that guilt, that guilt, that guilt. Yeah, David went so deep that some of these things that I have done that nobody knows that is only me and that person know, or just only me and the doctor knows. Father, deliver me from those blood guiltiness. And some people that you have killed that you know that because of your action, that is the reason why they you are destroyed. Father, deliver me from blood guiltiness. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. Hallelujah. Because when we come before the Lord sincere from the end of our hearts, asking for forgiveness, there's no way that we leave his presence without being, you know, without 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 receiving what we have asked for. There's it's not possible. A broken heart and a contrast spirit, the Lord will not despise. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O oh God. 
O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. May we sing aloud of your righteousness. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth to declare your praise. Hallelujah. For you will not delight in the sacrifice, or I will give it. You will not be pleased with the burnt offering. The Lord will not be pleased with burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is what? A broken spirit. Even if you have money like, you know, billions that can cause a, a country like, you know, you know, like the whole Africa to become so rich. You're ready to sponsor Africa, to give all your money to Africa. Make sure that the Africa become like the distant. Not to compensate with something that you have done. And you're still not, you know, uh, forgiving. But your heart is still, you are doing that with anger, you are doing that with, 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 uh, with some resentment, you are doing that. What God prefers is your heart. Your heart, your heart. To be free of all form of unrighteousness, from unforgiveness. Your heart, your heart. To love Him truly with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. The Lord wants us to love Him, to show love with everything in us. The Lord wants us to be in that state that we are ready to sacrifice our own life for Him as He did for, to us. We God help us in the name of Jesus. Is it a broken spirit? A humble spirit? My son in here. A broken spirit. A broken spirit. And a contrary heart. Oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. And build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the right sacrifice. A burnt offering. And a whole burnt offerings. Then the bull. You see, when we come now with a broken spirit. Then the bull. Then the ram, then those big offerings and those big uh, money you want to give, and those big projects you want to give, they have not be accepted. Because you are forgiven. You say, come with a broken, a, a humble heart. You are not coming now to use your money or to use your gift to buy God. No, you cannot buy Him. You want to buy God, is you come with a broken heart first of all, before any other thing. You can see that in this very scripture that David was the was one of the richest men in those days in his own time. When this very thing happened, he was a strong man in army and everything. He defeat kings, he defeat kingdoms. He goes and always come back with victory. He has everything it takes to be the greatest in his own time. He was well respected. And um, lots of the countries around him, they came every every year to pay him things, to, to, to pay homage, to, you know, he taxed all the countries around him to they come to give him. He was a great king. He's not saying that all the benefit and all the blessings that he have received, I'm taking them and I'm trying to bribe God. No. God, God is not ready to accept. And that's the one of the biggest mistakes that, that Saul made. You saw thought that he can use a ram, you use all those gold and silver that he brought from America. Am I like? He can use it to bribe God. The David understood here, he can use those things to bribe God. Go want to cool spirit. Go want our heart broken. The Lord will not despise. Look back in your heart. Those people that you have not forgiven, those people who have done, or probably have helped them one way or the other, and they are not showing the sign, or because they don't understand. And now there's a kind of misunderstanding, and, and you continue in your anger. They don't want you to let go this morning. 
Nakupoirebaza dea. In the name of Jesus. Nane kipoiria. Nini masa de wo rukeiria. Clean hearts. Oh Lord. How in your right spirit. I'm 
Aleluia você Jesus
Holy Spirit, welcome, 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 welcome. We need you, we need you, we need you, we need you. Run on my name, my son, my name, my son, my Holy Spirit, the Lord. Run in the most, in the most, in the most, in the most. He a power. Run in the
that these walls have a different spirit. In the life of Joseph, he said, This will have a different spirit, a spirit of understanding, a spirit to understand dreams, the spirit to understand, you know, the event, what is going on in our, in our, in our environment. And this spirit of God made this guy to stand out. This spirit of God made, especially Joseph, who have never been in the field of management before, able to manage, you know, the, build those great warehouses and organize everything. The Holy Spirit of God, there's nothing we need more of Him. In any way, we have you know, exercise a, a kind of a you know, challenge because you know before the Holy Spirit of God, you fully begin to you know, operate in in this in this deep areas of our lives. Challenging will always come to see can you actually stand for the truth? Can you actually stand for that truth that set free? Or will you compromise your faith? And tell God, oh, later on, I will change better. Daniel did not compromise. None of the three Hebrew men compromised. They faced those challenges. And each of those challenges announced them the more. Each of those challenges brought glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Holy Spirit of God, we need you. We need you. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you, Holy Spirit of God. I need you, Holy Spirit of God. We cannot do without you, Holy Spirit of God. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. Is it impossible for us to live without you? You are the bread that we bread. You are more than all. You are the food. You are our all. Without you, we cannot exist. Mara, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, to carry us. We need you, Lord, to be our counselor. We need you to be our wisdom. We need you to be our understanding. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. In every aspect of our life, this very much. Mara, no, 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 Holy Spirit of the Lord, 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 we more of you. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.
Father, I'm going to baptize us with your fire this morning. Baptize us with your fire this morning. Fire of the Holy Ghost. We want to burn for you, Lord Jesus. Let your fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn, burn, burn. Purify my heart, Lord. Purify my heart, Lord. Purify my spirit. Purify my soul. Purify my soul. Purify my body. Purify me, Lord. Then purify the fire. Holy Ghost fire, fall upon me, fall upon me. Holy Ghost fire, fall upon us. Holy Ghost fire, fall upon your children. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Run and I'm standing in the middle of the street, in the middle of the street, in the middle of the street. Run and I'm standing in the middle of the street, in the middle of the street. Run and I'm standing in the middle of the street, in the middle of the street. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Thank you. 
Jesus, let the Spirit of God in the name of activate our spiritual senses, activate us in the name of Jesus. In the name of just like that word of God in the book of Ezekiel, man, talk about the Spirit of God that came as water. Hallelujah. There was green, there was fruitfulness, there was open door, there was blessing, massive blessing. Hallelujah. To the extent the water began to flow and began to refresh blessings of our blessings. Hallelujah. There's no way we we deep go deep and asking the spirit of God to take over and then surrendering and submitting ourselves under the leading of the Holy Spirit of God. It cannot be fruitful. It cannot be fruitful. Right. Remember that word of God said that it will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That never, that never grow dry. In every season, we are fruitful. In every season, we are fruitful. We are fruitful. Hallelujah. And because you are planted by the riverside, and the riverside here we're talking about is as we're coming into this very month. We walk in obedience. We walk in total surrender. You know, and walking, 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 walking <clears throat> in the truth and the, of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we begin to walk, and I like the Holy Spirit of God to be one in charge. In the process, we want to see blessings. We want to see healing. We want to see those issues that have lingered for for years, for 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 decades. We want to they begin to give in on their own accord. Because the fire of the Holy Ghost that you have contacted this morning, there's no way those things, those issues can remain there when there's the fire of the Holy Ghost body in our lives. Hallelujah. Well, like as we said already, you know, the life of these great men of God, Daniel, you know, the issues, the issue that challenged him was met by the fire of God in him. Even when the enemy kindled their own fire against the Shadrach, Mishan, and Abednego, the fire of the Lord in them destroyed the fire of the enemy. They walk out because they are fire already themselves. And their own fire is greater than the fire of the, and the, of the enemy. They came out from the fire of the enemy. The Bible said, no smoke, not even any bomb. They, they did not feel as, as if. Hallelujah. These are the kind of, you know, Things that enemy knew knows and it depriving you and me, depriving us by you know making us to be you know committing some lying fear, begin to begin to work in sin and begin to allow the enemy to have you know a, a, a stronghold and, and begin to block those those uh, those great things that the Lord has for us. And this month we are saying no to any any of those 
in the name of Jesus. This month you are walking in love. You are walking in the name of Jesus in forgiveness. We are allowing the Holy Spirit of Lord to take charge in everything, in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord have allowed the, the, you know, you know, the story of, Sam, of of David to be in the Bible. To make you and, all, to make you and me to understand. No matter the enemy, no matter the activities of the enemy in your life. You are not permitted. We are not permitted to hate our enemy. His greatest enemy in the whole scripture. The greatest enemy of David was Saul. And he loved him with everything in him. Even though they saw opportunity to eliminate his enemies severally. But he did not. Even today, say when the Lord decided to take, you know, Saul away, David wept for days. Wept for days. That, that is the legacy that we should follow. Just like Jesus Christ. Even in our sin, in our disobedience, he still loves us. That is why he's, he taught us how to pray. You cannot be asking God to forgive you. You cannot be asking good things from the Lord. And you are withholding good from your neighbor. You are withholding good. Even though your neighbor did not ask you or they did not ask you. But you know that they need this. Then you go ahead and give, give that help. Hallelujah. You go ahead and forgive. You go ahead and let go. You go ahead and let go of those hearts. It can be so painful and so worrisome when you have sacrificed your life, sacrificed so much. Sacrificed so much. Just like, you know, one of the articles I saw recently, that this, this zeal led you a guy, donated, yeah, he's a lady, he donated her kidney to the guy who was supposed to be marrying her. You know, like kind of, you know, horrible, you know, wickedness of man. And it is only when you have the spirit of God you can let those such kind of thing go. Now you are living with one kidney, and somebody is living with you. You sacrifice that because of the love you have for this person, and the and the and, and the and the and the and the and the reward you can get from that person is not sent you to all, all over the social media saying that you're wicked. That you want to go, he doesn't want you to go. It's only the, the love of Jesus Christ. Then the, the kind of thing that you have done against the Lord and the Lord forgave us. Even in our sin, even in our wickedness. He left his throne coming down here to save us. Even with that, we treated him shamefully. We humiliated him. Even with all that, he still loves us. Hallelujah. And therefore the Lord wants us to forgive one another. Because when we forgive, we indirectly releasing ourselves from bondage. We're indirectly releasing ourselves from, 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 from the negative program that the enemy has for us. Because the enemy wants you to keep on not forgiving. So that we, he will keep on, you know, those evil things that he's doing in your life. Like, you know, those sicknesses. Those issues, those failures, those uh, issues that you're having, both in the home, you know, in, the, in your family, those issues, all forgiveness. But when we forgive, our spiritual understanding, our spiritual eyes is being be open. How we're able to think right, we're able to, you know, the Holy Spirit of God have, you know, that that place. We have given that room to, for the Holy Spirit. To actually be our comforter, to be our counselor, to be our helper. And I pray in the name of you, this month you are not walking in unforgiveness. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how much. It doesn't matter the wickedness that the enemy have done. It doesn't matter, you know, the, the activities of, of our enemies. In the name of we refuse. To be in that kind of in that mode, we refuse to be in that field. We refuse to be in that in that earlier, in that mode of unforgiveness. 
in the name of Jesus. We free ourselves this morning in the name of Jesus. And I use this morning to pray for my brother and sister, those who are struggling, those that they have really hurt you, have a broken heart to the extent, oh God, God have mercy, Lord. To the extent that somebody that you have helped, somebody that you have, you have uh, helped, end up manipulating you, stolen your husband, stolen your wife, and for years, 10 years now, you've been dead because of your good you've done to somebody. That good opened the door for the enemy, for your, for your friend to mm -hmm. take your husband, to take your wife. It can be so painful. It can be so painful. It can be so painful. The Lord wants you this morning, whatever that you have done, either spiritually or any against that your fellow, Remember, the Lord wants you to forgive. The Lord wants you to let go. The Lord wants to do a new thing in your life. The Lord wants to do a new thing in your life. That your friend will look back. That Yes, they have been going on and everything is looking smooth for them. For over 10 years now. But the Lord is about to do something new in your life. That you look back. And say truly, in what is good to trust in the Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of that heavy heart, the blood of Jesus against you, in the name of that broken heart, that refused to heal. And leave the water of life. Let there be healing. Let there be healing, in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing. Let there be healing this morning. Spirit of God, move in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing. Let there be healing in the name. Be healed from that broken hearted. Be healed from that trauma. Be healed from that mental issue that this situation has caused you. In the name of Let there be restoration, Lord. Let there be restoration, Lord. In the name of Find it in a place in your heart to forgive and let go. Whatever that you have done, in the name of Jesus, go and undo all those things. And you see at the Lord, as you are losing that person, as you're letting that person go, the same way the Lord is releasing your blessing and releasing that your favor and releasing your own blessings in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This morning, even though the time has truly gone, Let's um, our major scripture, hallelujah, that we have done the book of Psalm, is we're going to do Hosea chapter 1, hallelujah, it's from verse 1 to end, but we're going to read from hallelujah, from verse 10, from verse 10. Father Lord, you let your spirit, oh Lord Jesus, come down this morning, open our eyes of understanding, in the name of Jesus. Speak to all this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's Hosea chapter 10 from verse 4. From Hosea chapter 1 from verse 10. It says, Yet the more numbers of the children of Israel shall be like the, the sound of the sea, earlier, which cannot be measured or numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. It shall be said to them, Children of the living God. Hallelujah. And the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together, and they shall appoint for themselves one head, and they shall go up from the land from great, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Hallelujah. For great shall be the day, days of Jezreel, where the enemy has condemned. Those things in our life that anyone has said, there's no way that they cannot, that the Lord, there is not possible for you to come out from one situation or the other. You try everything, what you're getting is failure. We try everything, the enemy, the more you think that things are getting better, the more you don't score yourself, like you're falling into a bigger pit. This time the Lord has decided in the name of Jesus. 
to look to our case, to look to those situations in our lives, those challenges. If you read from verse 1 of this very scripture, you understand, you know, the Lord was so angry and said, I will do this, I will do that, I will do that. But out of his own mercy, out of his own loving kindness, out of his mercy, hallelujah, he returned back to the Lord, I mean to his people, hallelujah, and saying, you are my people. In a place where it was said that you're not my people, hallelujah, you are, you'll be, they will call you the same place, the children of living God. The same, the same, the same, the same, the same, uh, the same uh, 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 Abraham and Sarah. They were called dry. They were, people called them different kind of name. But they refused to give in. They refused to allow the manipulation and the lies of the enemy regarding their life to control or to make them not to believe on God. And at the end of it all, it was obvious that these ones, they are the trees, they are like trees planted by the waterside, that even at their old age, they still bear fruit, they still eat fruit. And their, their, their leaves is still, you know, because uh, this is uh, in the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 47, he said, and their leaf shall be for healing. Their leaves shall be for healing and their fruit it shall be for, for, for food to refresh their system and because they are planted by, by the rivers and by the river side and the fresh and the, the freshness and the fresh the fresh water flowing you know causing everything around that 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 that, that needs to have life flowing through them life flowing through them and I pray in the name of Jesus then the life of God then the life of God begins to flow in the name of those situations, those areas of your life where it looks as if you know there's that, that you have come to the end of your life. It's not yet the end. And you have the one with you who makes a way where there is no way. Oh, there's nothing that is so difficult for him to do. But the only thing we need to do is to totally trust in him. To trust in him. In letting things go, because the more we are holding someone, the more we are not allowing, you know, the Lord to move because of what people have done in our lives, because of the damage and the stealing and the all manner of wickedness. The more we put our mind in those negative things, we are indirectly holding ourselves down. We are indirectly holding ourselves down. Hallelujah. And this morning, in the name of the Lord, want us to release ourselves in the name of Jesus. From every heart, from every heartbroken situation, from every you know thing that they, that they, our friends or uh, those who are around us have done in our lives, and then the process we need to see things turning around for our good in the name of God. from verse one of this very wonderful book. It said the word of God came to jo to Josiah, the son of Bere, the the in the day of Josiah, Jotham, Azar. And Hezekiah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Josh, king of, of Israel. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take yourself a wife of Hodom, and have children of Wedom, for the land commit great Hodom for by for, by forsaking the Lord, and so he went and took Goma and the daughter of uh, Diablan, and she conceived and born a son. And the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel, for in just a little while I will punish the house of Je Jehu the, for the blood of Jezreel, and I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of. Israel, and on that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bore the daughter. And the Lord said to him, Call the name No Mercy, call her name No Mercy, for I will, 
how I will know, I will no more have mercy on the house of Israel to forgive them, them at all. But I will have mercy on the house of Judah, and I will save them by the by the Lord. Hallelujah. And I will save them by the Lord their God. Hallelujah. And I will not save them by You see, I will not save them by bow, or by sword, or by war, or by horse, or by horsemen. When she had when no mercy, she conceived and bore a son. And the Lord said, call his name, not my people, for you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet, the number of Israel, the number of the children of Israel shall be like the sound of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And in the place where it said, it was said to, to them, you are not my people, it shall be said to them, children of the living God. And the children of Judah and the children of Israel and they shall gather together and they shall appoint for themselves and one head and they shall go up and from the land earlier and from the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel for great shall be the days of Jezreel earlier you can see here even after all that they, they have done, here yeah, the Lord still have mercy. The Lord still see a place to, to have mercy. Let's quickly go to this scripture. Second yeah, um, Corinthians chapter uh, 6, verse 18. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus. And the mercy of God will locate you in the name of Jesus. No matter whatever that, that I look as if there is, there is no way. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is telling you this morning. In the name of Jesus. I will show you mercy. I will show you mercy. I will show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will show the Lord about to show the mouth of your accusers. Those who think all oh, that are coming to you. To your end. I mean to, to your end. And probably you always go to them. You look as if without, without, without them you cannot become anything. Everything about you is, is, is them. And, and they have taken advantage. And the Lord is telling you this morning, in the name of you, whatever yoke, whatever power that has been holding you and tying you down, that making you to, you know, to operate in such kind of level, in the name of you, there's going to be a break, a break, a break in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There will be a break. You will stand by your own self. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Will open and turn things around. In the name of Jesus. Man Sunday reboy. In Jesus. And verse 18. Say, flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But a sexual immorality, a sexual immoral person sin against his own body. Sins against his own body. You know, that very scripture the Lord was talking about, you know, you know, the, the children of Israel have committed a sexual uh, uh, sexual sin that war them they have been they have prostituted to him. Hallelujah. And uh, what what the Lord was talking about here is you know them serving other gods, both the physical, sexual, whatever, and the and, and the serving and idolatry. After all the Lord have done for them, they sin and they continue. They begin even to build an evil altar. Begin to marry those the Lord said they should not marry. The thing the Lord asked them not to do, they begin to dig them and begin to do them in order to provoke God to anger. In the process for God to save them and the God to find a way to get and to, to scatter, to dismantle the evil that the enemy had built in order to block the children of Israel from him. The Lord had to ask his, his servants 
to go and uh, do this. Hallelujah. Remember in mathematics, negative for negative is equal to what? Plus. <laughs> Addition. The Lord used that, 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 that equation in order, to, in order to save his people from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. You know, his ways is not our ways. His thought is not our thought. But in, no matter whatever that is going on in our life, and we dis, determine to trust him, we determine to, you know, to hold him. As far as we determine to stay by, by the Lord, he will turn those things around for our good. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing. The Lord even will turn them around. What the Lord wants us to do is to be faithful to Him. To be faithful to Him. To stand. Like the three Hebrew men. They cry for God deliverance. They cry for God mercy. God, will you stay here and see this man destroy us and burn us? Because you are standing for the truth. They decided in their hearts, even though they is me, even though they, even though there is no other way, I cannot actually see any other way other than the way of, of truth, the way of the Lord God Almighty. They stood, they stood. At the end of it all, they saw, they see the salvation from the Lord. And they, you know, like what happened to Joseph? Joseph got to, you know, instead of him to allow the fear of the unknown, the fear of the next place to sleep, the fear of another, you know, break his life. Because, you know, you, you have been a servant. He doesn't have any option according to understanding of man. Imagine running away from the place. You, you, are, not, you are not an Egyptian and they know, everybody knows that you are a Jew. And now you've been accused that you have committed that kind of a sin. He decided not to sell his glory. He decided not to you know, compromise the standard. At the end of it all, hallelujah, we all knew what the Lord did in his life. Just like the Lord said, his plan for you and for me is to give us an expected end. And you may not really understand what is going on in your life. But the more you are trying, you know, to come out from that problem, you see yourself going deeper and deeper and deeper. Hallelujah. Always understand something. As far as you try to come out and you are standing, you know, standing, you are not compromising your faith. The Lord is training you. He's teaching you. There's a great ministry waiting for you at the front. That the Lord is using all this to question you, to make you strong, to make you tough, to make you to be able to stand those opposition and for the for, for for tomorrow. If Joseph did not go through all the things he went through, his understanding would not be developed to be able to handle the great thing that was that was that was waiting for him at earlier in front. Could it be he gave up? Imagine the glory. Imagine imagine the honor you would have you have you would have lost. Just because he wants to sleep with a woman. Just because he wants to steal or want to, you know, do things, you know, away from the way of the Lord. The Lord wants us to stand in the name of Jesus. And we will see the great hand of God. Hallelujah. The Lord is ready to show us his mercy. Are you ready to accept? To, are you ready to take his mercy? Hallelujah. And I pray. And then, before the end of this three days, fast and prayer, that the mercy of God, that the mercy of God will be abundant, that we see, hallelujah, the activities of the Lord mercy in every areas of our lives, in the name of that those situations that you have endured, that those situations that have looked as if, God, what is happening? I have sacrificed all these years. I have sacrificed all this. I have stood you know, faithful to you. And still, things are not, uh, it will pay off. It will pay off. And one thing you need to know, that Satan will not make you to understand when you are waiting for the Lord, that this great peace and this happiness, the joy of, of salvation, it 
the life and the good health that you're enjoying is greater than any of those things that you're, you're looking for, they will definitely come. And when you allow yourself go, you open door for devourers. When you allow yourself go, you open doors you know, to sickness, to disease, to different kind of issues in your life. Just like a young girl there waiting for the Lord. You said to keep yourself away from, you know, from pollution. Now your young ones, they are getting married and they, they are married and everything is going well. They are driving different kind of cars, you know, they are doing so well because they compromise. And the Lord does not want you to go that way. And you'll be keeping yourself. The more you think that this person is going to be the person who is going to marry you, in the process, you discover it's not. When this one to come, you discover it's not. What is acting is SS. It's not what you discover. And now look at see what is happening in my life. Why nobody see me? Why this? Why that? Why that? Why that? What the Lord has prepared for those that love Him, no eyes can see, no ears have heard, no mind can conceive what the Lord has in store for you. And not only that, you don't know the great peace and the great joy that you are enjoying. You don't know the great peace and the great joy that you are enjoying. Just keep it on. Because sometimes Satan may distract us. It will make you to feel that all is, is you know, all is totally, you know, you know worse. And nothing is going well. There is no hope. It will not make you to see the peace. It will not make you to see the, 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 the good health. It will not make you to see, you know, the blessings of God all around you. You always... Fill your heart or fill our hearts with those things that we've been expecting that we can that 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 they're not coming yet. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the same grace of Jesus Christ, the same grace that He gave to and you to Abraham, that even though the major thing he was looking in his life he was not able to get, but he remained faithful to the Lord, and the Lord was blessing every other areas of his life because. He did not complain. He did not allow, you know, you know that that uh, that pressure to be upon him, because that was the thing that then may use not to deprive us of God's blessings. You allow the pressure to be upon you. When you allow that negative pressure to be upon you, you don't see far. Opportunities will come to other areas of your life. You will miss them all. Then when the main blessing come, you know your foundation is not that strong anymore. Well, in the process, that blessing will become a cause. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord wants us, you know, He said, He said, in everything, you know, whatever is going on in your life, be joyful, give thanks, be grateful. You know the right time, be patient, be happy. Don't allow the enemy to steal your joy. Even though that the nasty thing that you are looking for, you have not gotten it yet. Still be happy in the name of Jesus. Be focused in the name of Job. Don't be distracted in the name of Jesus. But begin to chase things by yourself. We're going to try this man. Try this one. The more you remove the comfort of God that He has given to you, the more it, if you remove that. And then, that truth of God, I want to do things by yourself. You begin to invite troubles, invite situations, distractions, waste. You open door for devourers. In the process, your, your health will be affected. You see yourself going, your heart being broken and all that. Just stay focused with God. Hallelujah. In the process, you begin to see the you need to see, you need to understand the reason why the Lord has allowed some things to happen in our lives. Hallelujah. Like Abraham was focused. Or else, and when Sarah refused to give birth, he would have started marrying different women and all those stuff. You know, that started looking for a way, which, which Sarah was totally ready, you know, to accommodate. But he refused to go that way. And the process, 
the Lord used him to build, it, was, it became like a fortress, a mighty man. Because he refused to be distracted. Even in that situation, he was giving God thanks. Hallelujah. And I pray the mercy of God will locate us. And whatever manipulation that enemy have done in our mind, in our hearts, we wash them all and we disconnect ourselves from the manipulation and lies of the enemy with the blood of Jesus this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning, this morning, Lord, for the thing that you have done. I will pray that your blessing and your blessing in the name of will take over. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as we go through this three days fasting and prayer, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy be abundant. Let your mercy announce us in the name of Jesus. That after all, your name alone will glorify. Blessed be your holy name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because this month is that month that you open doors, you open ways where there is no way. Miracles, signs, and wonder. Father, Lord, great things, Lord, you need to do in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, O Lord, leading. You will be our counselor. You will be our helper. You will be our comforter. In the name of Jesus, you will shine your light in, on the path, in the path that we follow. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As the word of God said that the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud follow the children of Israel. Father, Lord, in the day, in the night, Father, Lord Jesus, will not, hallelujah, will not lack your presence. Your presence go with us. Your presence be with us throughout this month. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I want, we want to Lord you this month, you know, that we have the glimpse of what it is all about. When your presence, you know, is with us. Just a month. By your mercy, let your presence be with us throughout this very month. We we'll feel more of your presence. Feel more of you. Your tangible presence in our lives. In the name of Jesus. So this will be like a trial, a test. So we can decide if we love the presence of God or if we want to go back to the way we used to be. Do it, Lord Jesus. Let your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for joining us this morning. Hallelujah. That was quite a long one, but we thank the Lord and for what He has done. In the name of God, I pray that this seed that the Lord has planted in our life, this, this very first day of the month, it will continue to grow in the name of Jesus. What I can see around me is just, you know, when the Lord said, you are planted by the rivers of water. The rivers of water. Not just water living water because we have a lot of dead waters here and there pond and i the, the, you are planted i can see flourishing i can see green i can see you know you being like hallelujah at all season mark up whatever that have been dead in your life whatever that have been stagnant in your life receive life in the name of jesus Life in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. To those it life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for those victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Bruno Abram. Abro, thank you for joining us. And um Ashil Yaba. Is it Yaba? Thank you for joining us and the rest of the people who were joining us before. God bless you all. We really appreciate you all for your support this morning in the name of Jesus. Please, this is our service. They are already on the on the system. You can play them over and over and soak yourself in his presence. You soak yourself in his presence. You soak yourself in his presence in the name of Jesus. Or some of you who may be you don't know. You know, probably have a car, you want it in a CD or want it in a USB. Please give us a message. No matter wherever you are, we will 
uh, package it and send it to you in the name of your some of our uh, messages in the name of you as you play them as you read those scriptures in the presence of god before what happened whatever atmosphere that have been depriving you from the goodness and the mercy of god in the name of there will be nowhere to be found when the presence of god swallow every negative presence in your environment in the name of jesus and that god bless you all hallelujah and i pray hallelujah, that this month will be one of those months hallelujah, that you will never forget the beginning of a great thing a beginning of blessing a beginning of breakthrough a beginning of a good thing in your life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord jesus this morning we give you glory lord in jesus name but this will be here again in the evening for those who can please you have to join us we're here again in the evening ah, the, the fasting and prayer continue is a three days fasting and prayer that we always have every hallelujah every every month the first three days of the month every month we always use this as a fasting and prayer to just you know dedicate the first three days to the lord of every month very very vital in the name of Jesus. so the lord we have been doing so much and imagine this very month you have already arrested this very month since last year say the lord by this time next year we'll be here again in the name of jesus will be in your presence in the name of because you've arrested whatever program and enemy have against us you will never succeed because you have already dedicated you've already prophesied it in the name of jesus because a lot of situation has come within this few last you know to sweep us away from doing this very project that the lord has, has kept us because of uh, prophetic words that you have released to arrest our future and uh, very very important and the, and the same thing will happen in your own life too in the name of Jesus in the name of whatever the Lord has said it will come to pass in your life in the name of this one we say may the Lord bless you all and protect you may the Lord show you his holy the Lord smile on you and uh, be gracious to you may the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace in every areas of your lives in the mighty name of Jesus we pray in the assignment for everyone hallelujah please and uh, read our I will leave our confessions on the screen. You just do it. Let it be your own personal time with God. And uh, do those confessions yourself. And the, the Lord, in the name of you, will open your spiritual eyes and understanding. In the name of Jesus, by this obedience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. And have a very wonderful um, and a month. In Jesus' name. See you again and yeah, this evening. In Jesus' name, from 11 o'clock, in Jesus' name. God bless you all, and shout out to you all, in Jesus' name.